1985, uh, Barton Slatko at New England Biolabs and I were working on DNA sequencing. We published some papers and we had this idea of doing a course because lots of people wanted to come to our labs to learn DNA sequencing. And so we thought, well, it would be more efficient to do it in a course rather than have people come see us individually. And it sort of evolved from there. We've successfully graduated um, over 4,000 students um, over the past 29 years. So the course curriculum since 1986 has evolved tremendously. So almost nothing is the same as it was then. Um, there have been a lot of advances like the polymerase chain reaction which have completely revolutionized uh, what we do in the course. Uh, things like uh, next-gen sequencing are completely new, of course. The, the participants in the course often come in with very little molecular biology background, so we need to teach them basics of DNA synthesis and you know, DNA repair and transcription and translation and all of that so they completely understand what's going on. One of the things that we try to do is instead of just having steps, we try to have explanations for why they're doing every single step. And in lecture, we do the same thing. We take them through every step for every protocol and make sure they understand why they're doing each step and what each reagent in the step is for, why it's there, what it's doing. And I think that's really important because when people have trouble with an experiment getting it to work, if they understand why they're doing all the steps, it makes it a lot easier to troubleshoot. You don't. You don't need uh, any experience um, whatsoever. Even uh, when the students come to us for the summer workshop, a lot of them don't have experience with micropipetting. So we take them from the very beginning, and at, at the end, they're you know they're relatively experts in terms of the molecular biology techniques that we're teaching them. We've had uh, engineers, lawyers, patent attorneys, CEOs of companies who want to understand what their researchers are doing. The backgrounds are really quite variable. We've even had uh, a few journalists come and take the course who were science journalists, science writers who wanted to understand the biology. We've even converted a few physicists into biologists. So. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, it was uh, immediately appropriate and applicable to, to what I'm trying to do with our biotechnology program at Groton School. And so it was uh, wonderful in the sense that it was completely hands-on. The lectures were informative and useful, so the complete package was immediately useful for me. As an educator, you know, it's great to be able to do science and publish papers and make a contribution that way, but as a teacher, you can impact the work done by hundreds or thousands of people. So really the most important thing about this course to me is that we've had almost 4,000 people take the course now. And so, you know, there's this ripple effect where as an individual, you can have some effect on science, but if you're a teacher, you have, you know, an impact that's, I think, really hard to measure.